Resale, they do work well. This one does. I cut a little bit of grass with it this morning, so the wife's got it posted. Oh, Tuesday morning, very warm. Oh, it's like 80 out here already, and I'm sweating my patootie off. <sighs> Southern wind. We got lots of moisture yesterday. Look at that, trailer loaded, ready to go. And I haven't touched any of this yet. That was from the pile over here. Look at that, I made a dent. Oh, I got so much work to do. All this stuff needs to be torn down. Except that rotor tiller, or rotor tiller, that snowblower. And this guy here I generally cut <clears throat> just so they're not so bulky in the uh, trailer. Just cut them down the sides and they make them smaller. So we're going to go see what it weighs, what it pay. I hung on to that because my appliance guy I think wants parts off of it, so it's still there. Two electric lawnmowers, they got to be stripped down yet. They'll go on the next load once they get their motors out. There's two more. And I think there's a couple more over here yet. And there's another one. Ah, that freezer does work. That little guy works very well. He uh, was colder than my thermometer would read. And I have a fridge thermometer. That guy works very well too. He was nice and cold, like 20 degrees Fahrenheit, which is below freezing, So, but he is a fridge. So I was going to keep this one for my oldest boy. He needs one. He doesn't have a lot of room, so this will work great. Just needs seats. See the frost still coming out? Yeah, I had him running for a couple days to make sure. I checked them last night again. Neither compressor was running, but they are ice cold, so that's what counts. And this little guy, too. He's got colorful. See, it's just a little apartment fridge. That's all it is. If you're a college student, keep some drinks cold, you know, that's all. So yeah, I gotta process these three. Those two big guys. Uh, Simple Man, if anybody knows his channel. Of course you do, you're all watching him. Uh, he suggested what I could try with that, because I was told the compressor quit running, so it might be just a part on the compressor, you know how they, how they plug in right here, these things. So, they said, just try that. You got to lose, right? So, yeah, it's not going to be a heavy load. But, uh, yeah, it's a load nonetheless, right? Steel shelving, holding everything in. So, I might throw a strap around that yet, just to make sure it doesn't pop out of the truck. So, there we go. We'll catch you on the other side. And, oh, before I pause you, that patch is working just awesome. Look at that bone dry over there. So we did a good job. We had a good rain last yesterday, off and on, twice, a couple storms, and then the night before. So we did good. My paint hasn't washed off yet, so <laughs> that's good too. <laughs> Look, it's washed again. It's clean truck. Yeah, I just got to get this done before winter. I might mask the whole door and shoot it. Same with this part. I got to clean that up yet. But anyways, we'll get at her. See you in a bit. Well, YouTube, we are back. Two pills of shred emptied. Got emptied by the crane. They don't really like to do that with me because I have my walls are too high. You can't because it's a combo magnet and claw. When the claw is open, you can't get it in deep enough to use a magnet. So. But anyways, that's where it's at. So I moved a couple of appliances that were over there. They are now sitting here. And this guy, this is the one I'm going to mess with. So we're going to, we'll figure it out maybe. There's a lot of flies outside. So what did it weigh? What did it pay? Ooh, didn't pay a whole lot. Just under 200 bucks, buck, buck and three quarters. Ah, let me see, let me see, let me see. It's still at 240 a net ton. 240 a net ton. So yeah, 175.20. Well, it's not bad. It was all shred. I didn't even think it would be that heavy. 1,400 pounds. I figured about 1,200. It was just all light steel, like barbecue frames, bicycles, 
shelving so yeah the next load will be maybe fridges and the rest of the shred that's over there but anyways that's that that's how it goes time is it oh almost lunch time see that's the temperature in the garage I think yeah they're both reading roughly the same more or less this one came out of the freezer so there you have it that little freezer works great the little fridge works great so I'm gonna see if I can get I don't really want to be an appliance repair guy but simple man said it was simple he says generally the compressors do not go it's the little hookup wiring there's two little plugs on them he says that's generally what goes on them so I'll give it a try why not this freezer looks in pretty darn good shape the dials on the front to make it run it needs a cleaning but that's not my concern it's got a drain plug somebody dropped something in there pretty hard now it's even got mag or maggots it's got earwig running around in there we'll give it a try what you got to lose right there's a panel right there so if it works it works it's a nice freezer That one's a good size for my boy. It's actually taller by the looks of it. And then that fridge. So we'll see. We will see. Well, hope the wind ain't messing you up too badly. So there we have it. Yeah, I got that puppy dog out of the house. She's in there. She's doing very well. Excellent. Proud of her. Last night, no messes in her kennel at all. No pee, no poo. So yeah, she got praised well for that. See, that was the very first night. That's why that's still out there. It's trying to dry. <laughs> the second night was... Oh, it's in the basement drying. Oh, I just walked through more cobwebs. That time of year, I guess. So, yeah. But the third night, it was so impressed. I got up at 6. Snuck a peek in there. Oh, look at that. What a good girl. She went outside, did all her jobs. So. Yay! So, yeah. And they get rewarded for that. Well, they know they've done well. Right? Like, subscribe, and share or not. Have an awesome day.